How we doing, everybody? Starting off today on the highway. In a car you've probably never seen before. Unless you're on Just Kylie. Subscribe. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we're in Kylie's car right now and we're heading to Marysville. We're going to get her car serviced over here at Marysville Honda. Got a couple issues going on with it anyway. Check engine lights on. And we need to get that fixed. So. But uh, yeah, we're in a Kylie's car. It's a 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback. Civic Hatchback. But uh, we're going to pull in over here. Pretty good sized place. She made an appointment online. I've never done that before. So I guess that's a new way to do things. It's the easiest way. But I've uh, got some uh, kind of different things to do today. So we're going to get at it and get you back here in a little bit. They've changed everything. I wonder if I still go to the same place. Service entrance over there. Good eye, good eye. Oh my gosh. What? This is usually where I go. Look, they're redoing it. Oh yeah, look it is over there at that tent. Oops, sorry. Nobody in their cars. Whoa! We'll find out what they do now. Then they'll come over with a clipboard and they'll take my mileage and my name and in here? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. All right, here we are in beautiful West Liberty. The reason we're in here today is I'm going to get my hair cut. Now they said with this chemo, one of the side effects is going to be your hair could fall out. Now with all the different chemos that I've done, I think I've been pretty lucky so far. But uh, hair's falling out and starting to make a mess. So we're gonna roll in here to Keith's Cuts and Curls. And we're gonna get one of the girls in here to cut my hair and we're gonna shave her off. You can show the top of my head and see why. <laughs> now I did have a receding hairline, but this is getting extreme. What side do you want parts on? There's not much part to cut off. on the right. <laughs> Most of it's fallen out. It has, especially on top. I mean, around the back. Yeah. Yeah. No, we want to shave her off. Okay. Normally, I do get a really short haircut. We anyway. usually get it real short on the sides. Anyways, we're just doing it all over now. It'll feel good for a while. Now we can see how pretty my noggin is. Yep. <laughs> All my scars and everything. It's beautiful. Looks good. Feels good. Yeah. It's like a baby's butt. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby! Judas crying. <laughs> I do look different, don't I? Yeah, I like it. Ooh, it's a new man. A new look. <laughs> well, there it is. We got my hair cut. It, I was making a mess, like in my bed and stuff like that. You better explain that, because it sounds like you've been wetting the bed or something. Making a mess in your bed. <laughs> I reached up and grabbed my pillow with my mouth the other night and about gagged because of all the hair that was on my pillow. So I decided it, it was time to get a haircut. Now Kylie's been yelling at me for quite a while to get one, mm -hmm. and we just hadn't done it. So now we're gonna roll in here to mom and dad's and uh, show them my head. And we'll do a little 1600 Oliver tractor update while we're in here. We've done a couple things to it and getting ready to do a couple more things to it. 
We'll about be getting it wrapped up. All right, here we are out in Dad's shop here. Uh, if you're paying around this building here, this is an old barn that he took the hay mouths out of and all that. And uh, he's turned it into a really nice shop. Now, it's not heated, it's not air conditioned, but uh, he's got a really nice place here to work. And after the Labor Day Festival, we brought the tractor here and he's done a couple of his things to it and got a couple more things we're going to do to it but uh just some things we found and you've already seen we need new back tires we need new back tires bad enough that the tube's sticking through right here no so we need that there was uh oh check out these these uh, spark plug wires here. A lot of them have tape wrapped around them and some of them are even taped to the spark plugs. So, got to do all, we're going to do all new ignition wires and stuff like that. But uh, around here on the front, on the power steering thing here, we do have some leaks on it. Come in here. We do have some leaks on it. He did fix. There was a line leaking right here and he fixed it. And we think it's leaking out of the bottom also, but it, I don't know, Chris, I want to get a hold of you and talk to you so, about this. But then uh, this line right here that goes up to the steering, he fixed it. It already been fixed once and it was leaking out right here where it screws in and he's got it fixed now so slowly but surely i believe monday the tractor is going to get washed and degreased and then it'll be easier to work on it a little bit so but other than that thing runs like a top don't know how many hours are on it or anything like that but uh we haven't really found anything that's worn out I mean, even the the throttle is just a little bit worn, and that's actually up on the handle where it's worn. So I don't know. It's gonna be a good toy to play with. So there'll be in more videos coming up. Ooh yeah.